I'd like to show you a quick tip in Adobe Muse on how to make a link to where somebody clicks on it, they can download a PDF. And if their browser supports it, it'll preview the PDF and they can download it from there. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy actually. Um, if you click on, let's say an image or a button or insert your cursor in text, you can just say, let's say I insert my cursor in text, I can type in what I wanna make the link and you can even make it to where, you know, it gives them a little information like this is actually a PDF. If you select the text, if you select the image or the button, whatever it happens to be, go up to the hyperlinks menu, click on the arrow up there, you'll see that we have a link to file. This is a, a couple versions ago, this was a new feature which allows you to make a link to a file that it automatically uploads. If you have a PDF somewhere else, like on another site or server, you can just paste the address or type the address right here. But if you have the PDF on your machine, this doesn't have to be a PDF, it can be a zip or something else. You just choose a link to file. It's gonna ask you, well, where is that thing? There it is right there, there's my PDF, let's say. Click open. Now here's the interesting part. It creates a link, which is great. If you go to upload, let's say you go to publish, uh, using publish up here to Adobe, and you're gonna do it to Adobe Business Catalyst. If you go to the assets panel right now, you should see a link to the PDF file right there, mymap.pdf. Basically means that if you go and to FTP or some other uh, site or something like that, it's gonna upload it for you. So it's gonna upload the file. Now, that means that if you go, let's say you have a, like a host on GoDaddy or one and one or something like that, another host essentially, you wanna use the upload FTP host here. That means that you're gonna give your information, it's gonna to remember to upload that PDF file and link to it correctly. If you publish using publish, then it's just gonna happen, which is pretty cool. Now just here's a quick tip for you, this is pretty cool, but let me go, I, I published a test site and this is just a, one of Adobe's files, but I just published a quick test site and I'm gonna republish it. Every time you make a change, you can just republish and it will automatically open it in the browser, it should anyway. And then if I go out to that page, let me click on it, you'll see that the link, this is kind of interesting, but the link itself, let me click on it, is almost always, it's going to be your URL. Now this is a temporary URL that it set up for me. If you have a site created through Muse and you're hosting with Adobe and it's your own site, you probably have your own URL. It creates an assets folder for you and then puts the file in there. So it's uploading it. So it's, it's pretty cool. So if you realize that, hey, I need to use this on another site, you could do that. You could just copy this URL, go to another site and link to it. So there we go. Pretty easy way to be able to link to a PDF, a zip or some other file you wanna work with.